Hello and welcome to Thriving City Song. And this is in the Song Dynasty era, of course. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This is an absolutely charming, wonderful aesthetic, amazing soundtrack city builder game, as I said before, set in the Song Dynasty era. And so what we're going to do is we're literally just going to play some random thing here. It's a story mode, of course. There is um, freeform mode as well, as far as I can tell. And uh, you can basically decide on any number of these, but of course you're going to have to do the first one first and play them in order. Personally, for me, I don't have a problem with this because this is actually one of the most relaxing city builders that I've played recently, and I play quite a few of them. So that says a lot. I think that probably has to do with the soundtrack, which is also available for purchase separately if you so desire. And for me personally, I have absolutely loved playing this. This is incredibly fun. So first of all, what we want to do is build a road. So we're going to just build a road. I don't really care where to build it, to be honest. We're just going to build it somewhere random. Just going to connect that to the mine, I guess. Just build it right out there. And we can actually just go around the side here as well, if we so desire. Probably going to do that just because we want roads to be able to take our people to where they want to go, right? And that obviously increases the speed at which they can travel to various places. So we should probably build some houses now as well. So let's build a house round about here, round about there. We need to build four of them, so let's just build a couple there. And this game is expansive. Very, very expansive. If you go to the Steam Store page, which is linked in the description, as I said before, you can actually check it out. Some of the screenshots show absolutely incredible expanses of cities, and it is extremely cool to see that. Anyway food we're gonna build some farms and everything some farmland is gonna be pretty important here yeah by the way this is fertile land as you can see you can actually click on basically anything in the entire game and it's gonna give you a little tooltip that will show you exactly what you need to know about it anyway so farmland is what we're gonna go for here we're just gonna go for some here we only need to build two of them so just something like that technically you want to be a little bit more efficient with your placement but I'm not really taking too much of that into account at the moment so anyway we don't have enough wood. Oh, look at that. We don't have enough wood. So we're just going to, you know, do this. And what's really fantastic about this game as well, if you want to play it fast, then you can, of course, do that. I was actually playing it the other day on the uh, normal speed. And I had such a wonderful time. It was so incredibly enjoyable to just let it run. You know, see your little citizens running around doing their thing, cutting down the trees, building things, um, you know, farming, mining, living out their lives, doing some wonderful things. So it's it's really quite amazing how, you know, they've done this. And uh, we're just going to literally chop down a couple more trees because we actually need to cut down 20 trees to be able to fulfill the tutorial. And hopefully we're going to be able to complete that and then see what else we need to do. I'm going to assume we, we're going to need a mine and we're going to need some other farmland and things. Oh yes, the lumberjack cabin is obviously going to be pretty important. Let's go over here. There's the lumber cabin. And this is actually going to be a pretty significantly important building because what's actually going to do, what this is actually going to do is it's going to plant trees as well as cut them down. So we're just going to place that round about there and I'll probably get a road and I might place the road somewhere like this. And there we have it, so that, you know, people can just get there relatively fast. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind that we're probably going to be getting a warehouse relatively soon, too, because warehouses, of course, are used to store all of our resources. All right, so we obviously have a quarry now as well available. We need to build the quarry on top of the stone resource. You can't just build the quarry anywhere you want. So obviously, there's that. And there's a number of other menus here as well. For example, defense, aesthetics, economy, food, civil, and so on and so forth. There's a warehouse, so that's what we're going to do now. I think, uh, where is the warehouse actually? Uh, I think it's in production. Yep, there it is. And we're just going to build that probably round about here uh, or here. No, I don't really want to build, build it next to the... Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to build it around about here. Here's the winter, by the way. Winter just came rolling in like no one's business, right? Yeah, really came in super fast. And let's actually just go... Uh, let's do something like this. There we go. Nice. And then we just need to build the warehouse. And then we can actually get the well as well, the civil. And uh, let's just get the well. That's something that we should probably 
build probably somewhere around there. That's hopefully going to help us out quite a bit. And yeah, hopefully we're going to be able to get this quarry up and running relatively soon too. And there's the well done. That land with the well nearby is irrigated and is sure to produce more food. A healthy diet is built upon variety. Build a plot. So that's what we need to do now. Let's build a plot right next to this, uh, probably somewhere around here, because what we want to do is we want to leave some space for some houses, which are inevitably going to be required. Insufficient housing, it says. Yes, insufficient housing. So let's actually do something about that. There we go. And uh, yeah, my, my woodcutters are doing a relatively good job at supplying us with wood. As you can see, we actually have 42 of them. And hopefully we're going to be able to get more. And the seasons are passing relatively fast, of course, because we're playing at a much faster rate than we would normally. And I actually need to get another plot up and running too. So let's build another one, uh, probably round about here, I guess. That seems decent enough, I guess. And uh, yeah, we should probably build another well somewhere nearby too. But obviously right now, I don't know whether that's really that important. We should probably build some more houses as well. So let's build some around about here. There we go. And as I said, you can build absolutely sprawling metropolises in this game. And if that's for you, then you know what to do. Oh, yes, you know what to do. Anyway, uh, granary, where's that? It's under food. Yeah, I need 15 wood to be able to do that. Thankfully, my woodcutters should be able to get that in just a second. And then we'll be able to build one. And as you can see, they are actually planting additional trees as well as cutting old ones down. And that really makes a huge difference to your overall longevity in this area so really makes a huge difference anyway hopefully they're going to be placing something yep there we go got it okay so now we can place the granary round about here i guess that's right next to the food and that's hopefully going to be done relatively soon too and the happiness of our citizens is actually not too bad as you can see they're disinterested at the moment they have an unvaried diet taxation is obviously causing them a little bit of a problem but that's not too bad for the moment ah yes charcoal so we need some charcoal now charcoal is under production so we're going to have to do that charcoal is here uh the coal mine what is what we need so i need 10 wood and now we already have it and there you go and we can probably build that round about here right next to the mine that kind of makes sense right and uh yeah otherwise you can also see everything about your warehouse here so you can see the uh the limits of all of your items and everything and generally this is just a a very charming aesthetic wonderfully relaxing city builder as i've said there's also a fire tower available here as well i think that's under civil yes it is and the fire tower has an absolutely insane range as you can see so we're going to build that around about here that seems like a decent plan and we can just continue forward okay yeah we're going to need some more houses oh yeah i don't have enough wood unfortunately we might actually have to tell people to cut down some extras so that's what we're going to do and get them going there. Firefighters have professional devices. We can... Ah, yeah, we need to build an apothecary. That's from the civil menu. Okay, where's the apothecary? There it is. I need 20 wood to be able to do that. Hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to gain that in a short space of time. And then we're going to be able to build it somewhere nearby. Uh, it should be pretty easy for us to get the wood. As I said before, the workers are very fast with reacting to what you need. And um, they actually do it very quickly so super super happy with that and there we go all right so that's really nice we're getting some more uh, more trees here and we are now about to see winter winter is just about to come around the corner let's build some more houses while we are in the process of doing that let's build some here there we go and here we go like taxes death is a sad certainty build a funeral home to honor the deceased so that they may rest in peace all right, so funeral home is under civil once again, and this should be pretty easy for us to do. Let's actually just cut down a little bit more wood over here. There's winter. Winter is now upon us once again. As you can see, things pass relatively quickly because, of course, I'm playing at the maximum speed at the moment. But if you didn't, you'd still be in year one most of the time. You'd be in year one, maybe, maybe getting close to year two, but obviously I'm playing relatively fast right now just so that I can show you exactly what's happening. All right, so we need the funeral home right here and I'm not entirely sure where to even put it, to be honest. I think I'll probably put it 
Uh, I wanted to put it there. I guess we'll put it around about here. Oh, next to the coal mine? Really? Next to the coal mine? That doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. Let's put it over there, I guess. And then we'll do a little bit of an extra road going along. There we go. That seems decent enough. And we need to do this as well. Aha, housing upgrade. With enough civil buildings in the city, you can build a farmhouse to move your people into better residences. Select farmhouse from the house menu to build one. Yeah, I will do that in just a second, but I want to do this a little bit first. Let's just do that. I need to cut down these trees first of all. Let's get that prioritized so I can get some, uh, some extra roads built over here. Bear in mind that roads will require some wood. So that's obviously something to bear in mind. There we go. There's the road now being built there too. And now we can get the farmhouse. So there's the farmhouse and as we've reached 50 population. That's the uh, that's the requirement for that. Oh yeah, actually we haven't reached 50 population. Almost. We've almost reached 50 population. So hopefully we'll be able to do that relatively soon. Okay, I'm going to just build a bunch of shacks along here. As we have the ability to do so now. And let's just build a little bit of a road here. Just along there. There we go. I'm kind of trying to make sure that our citizens can run around as fast as they can. Because, you know, we want to make sure that they are as efficient as possible with their speed. All right. Otherwise, I think what I'm actually going to do is I might build a new lumberjack. And I'm thinking I might build one over here. Because that kind of makes the most sense. So I'm thinking we'll probably do that. I need 15 wood to be able to do that. So I'm thinking we're probably just going to get rid of things over here. And maybe over here as well. There we are. Okay, that seems decent enough. Okay, so we need to build a farmhouse. I need 50 population, of course. And uh, as you can see, um, there's only 12 years remaining in this particular... Uh, game of hours right now because 15 years is the uh, is the limit for this particular first level and you're going to need to make sure that you do the things that you need to do um, <laughs> before that time I suppose all right uh, so let me actually have a look here lumber cabin let's put one let's put one round about um, round about there I guess that seems decent enough and the warehouse is quite far away but I don't think that really matters too much. It shouldn't really matter too much. Ah, there we go. Upgrade the city level. Small settlement. Nice. Okay, so we now have a small settlement and we now have 56 population, as you can see. So now I am able to build the farmhouse, as you can see there. That's very nice. Okay, so let's build one around about here. Let's build one here. Not sure if it really makes too much difference in where you build them. I haven't gotten that far in my other save game, so... That's something to bear in mind. Find more fertile lands for farming. Okay, well, we should probably do that. Spending their lives in superior housing increases their thing. Oh, okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Okay, clay mine, clay mine. All right, so that's what we need to do. Where's the clay mine? There it is. And I think I need to find the clay mine, don't I? Yeah, I don't, I don't have any clay mines nearby by the looks of things. So I'm not going to be able to build anything with them. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think so. I, I, what is this? Is this clay? No, that's iron. There's clay. Oh, okay, there's clay. But this is inaccessible at the moment. Okay, so this is fertile land right here. Okay, so I definitely need to build some more plots. And maybe a fishery as well might make sense. So let's build some more plots here. Let's build some farmland. Let's just build a bunch of farmland round about here too. Make sure that we have enough food for our people. As you can see, we do have 110 food, which I think is actually kind of decent. But yeah, maybe we need to do a bit more because that's one of what, what, what one of our advisors tells us, at least. Our emperor has issued an edict saying we must cultivate more land if we are to put enough food on the table. Ah, see, so there's a bunch of people that are telling me that. So hopefully that's going to be enough now. Not entirely sure if it is, but hopefully it will be. And uh, we should probably build, uh, yeah, I should probably build a, um, a fishery, actually. So let's do something like this. Mm, yeah, something like that. There we go. That seems like a pretty decent idea. Oh, look at that. It's the new year and we're getting, uh, we're getting fireworks. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, that is really, really nice. Okay, so we've got insufficient housing once again, hilariously enough. Okay, I need to build a clay mine, but it, it is inaccessible at the moment for some reason. So I will just build a road all the way over here. Not sure why it would be inaccessible, to be honest, but 
I guess we're going to find out. Hopefully it's going to be fine with that. Uh, this shack is... Are they complaining about the taxes? Is that is that what that icon says? Is that what that icon means? I'm actually not entirely sure, to be honest. Let's actually just have a look here. Wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. These are all the icons that you can actually see. And this is what is actually going to uh, let you know what's going on with them. Okay, it seems like... Mm, I don't see anything. Building icons... Warehouse is too far away. Oh, that might be the reason for this. Oh, okay, I see that. Work ceased due to lack of resources. Okay, that means that they don't have enough money or they're not being paid enough. Okay, so I need to actually build a warehouse. Okay, so the warehouse is under production, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I should probably build this round about here. Uh, and then that warehouse is right next to the mine because apparently that is hampering its um, its efficiency. It's apparently hampering it, so that's not particularly good, is it? Anyway, um, hopefully we're going to be able to build the clay mine now. There it is. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so we build the clay mine. That's perfect. And we also need more housing. So let's build some more farmhouses. And as you can see, some people are not best pleased. Let's build some more shacks as well. Because maybe the farmhouses are too expensive for people, you know? Maybe they're not able to afford them. Which, I, I completely understand that. So let's get some, let's get some regular, regular shacks out there as best we can. And uh, yeah, these guys are actually saying that they need more food, I believe. Yeah, we need more food. So we should probably build some more. I think my fishery is actually dealing uh, some, some nice food for us, potentially. Anyway, build a folk kiln to produce folk pottery for the people. Commoner's kiln. Okay, a commoner's kiln. Where's that? Okay, uh, where where is that? Is the, is is that here? Yeah. Oh no, wait. That can't be it. That can't be it. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? It, it says six hundred. There's no way I'm going to be able to get to six hundred. Where is that then? Is it this? No, it's not that. What about a forge? Forge iron tools or weapons. No, that's not going to happen. Okay. Well, uh, I actually don't see the thing that we need. That's not That's not actually going to work. Because the folk kiln is... is so, oh, no, wait, wait. This, oh, no, there's the folk kiln. Okay, I'm an absolute imbecile. I had no idea. Okay, well, there you go. At least that's working now. Okay, so we need more food, as you can quite clearly tell. So I think I'm actually going to get another fishery. Uh, I think that kind of makes sense. And we'll build a road that goes there. Build a road that goes here. And we need to build some more of the other things as well. So let's get some more uh, get some more farmland. Just build a huge amount of farmland. And we'll get some more plots as well. Let's do another one of those. There we go. Okay, wait a minute. The Xingyan region has been reclaimed. His Majesty led the army to Hunan and defeated the rebel leader. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Okay, we might have some issues coming in then. We might have some issues with that. Okay, that's not going to be particularly good. Okay, so as you can see, the taxes are not working too well. We have minus 40 right now. I'm not entirely sure why that would even be, to be honest. But, oh well, never mind. I guess we'll, we'll see. Uh, maybe I'm playing too fast. That's the point. We might actually be expanding too fast, playing too fast. And in which case, well, that's understandable then. All right, let me just build a couple of these. Because I have a lot of population right now. And we should probably build some more roads as well. So let me actually just go around here. I'm just going to go all the way around my little city here. There we go. Nice and easy. And we're now welcoming the new year once again. Look at that. Lovely, lovely fireworks. Love seeing that. Absolutely wonderful. And this is way too far away from our warehouse. So I'm going to just build a warehouse. Probably round about here, I guess. And we should probably cut down some more trees. Let's just cut down these trees right here. Thankfully, my um, my fishing boats seem to be out there. They're actually doing a pretty decent job. They seem to be gaining us some massive amounts of food, actually. What do we have here? Only His Majesty can boast of countrywide expeditions carried out without a single day's rest. Oh, that's pretty harsh. Anyway, uh, let's get some more. Hmm, I'm actually thinking of a ranch at this point. That might be pretty good. 
Yeah, we might go for a ranch if I have enough. Yes, I do. There we go. And there's the ranch. Let's get the ranch over here, I guess. And hopefully that's going to work out nicely for us. I mean, once the warehouse is built over here, this icon should go away because it's right next to the... There we go. It's right next to the... Uh, the quarry, which is always nice. And we also have some iron over here as well. Uh, yeah, we need more people, actually. We need more people. So let's actually get the farmhouses. Let's get some more farmhouses built while we can. And I actually have no idea where to put them, to be honest. We should probably just put them over here. I don't have any more resources for them. I mean, potentially I could. I mean, we can just, you know try it as best we can. Have you not heard the news? We have won back the Jingyanan lands. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's good to know. That's good to know. I have no idea what that means, but it's good to know anyway. Anyway, uh, there's the folk kiln. We can finally build that. So let's just go ahead and put that there, I guess. I actually have no idea where to put it, to be honest. But we are still having some pretty decent food. And I'm thinking that maybe what we want to do is build some more... Uh, let's get some more farmland up and running. And we'll get some more plots as well. Don't have enough to be able to build another one. Hopefully we will have enough in, a, in just a second. Because obviously the more population we have, the more we're going to need um, food, of course, to supply that. Okay, so we need a tavern as well. And uh, this is obviously going to be pretty important for us. So I'm probably going to be putting the tavern probably somewhere... Hmm. I'm actually not entirely sure where to put it, to be honest. Okay, let's uh, let's just take down all these trees so that I have the the space. And hopefully that's also going to give us enough wood to be able to uh, build the tavern to begin with. You know, that's what we're going to need to do. I do have enough food still, surprisingly enough. Very surprised about that, to be fair. Okay, there's the tavern, so we're just going to build that. Some people are very dissatisfied with the current life. Oh, I, I agree, sir. I agree. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's build another tavern round about here. That's hopefully going to increase people's spirits, potentially. And we've now cleared out all of these particular areas. And look at the amount of food that we have. We have th over 300 food, but my resources have dwindled significantly. I'm actually not entirely sure which resources they're talking about. Probably uh, other things. Not entirely sure, but yeah. Uh, still insufficient housing, so we should probably get some farmhouses. Build a tea house. Okay, economy. Where's the, where's the economy? There's the tea house right there. Let's build that near some of our other things. Uh, let's build that round about there. Build that round about there, and that round about there. There we go. Okay, we'll build three tea houses. I have no idea whether that's actually going to make any, any difference for us, but hopefully it will. And we can build some of these things. It doesn't really matter what they look like, I don't think. So let's just build some of these here. And there we have it. Okay, yeah, you can quickly see how large this can actually go. And the, the amount of expansion that we're doing is pretty crazy. Build a lodge near the commoner's kiln, coal mine, and forge. Mm hmm Okay, so there is the lodge. Let's build that round about here. And the commoner's kiln, I, I uh, yeah, the folk kiln was built. Where, where did I build the kiln, by the way? <laughs> oh, no. Now I have no idea where. Oh, I built it all the way over there. That's actually pretty bad. Okay, I probably shouldn't have built it there, but oh well, never mind. I, I guess I can actually build it here if I want to. I can actually just replace it and build it somewhere here, which might actually make sense, so why not? Let's do it. If you feel financially constrained and unable to make ends meet, please check if there are too many vacant buildings in the city that consume maintenance costs but cannot generate income. In case of emergency, unnecessary buildings can be demolished. In addition, reducing the number of positions that require salary distribution can also have a cost-saving effect. De developing commerce and ensuring a stable supply of materials will result in a continuous stream of tourists coming to the city through post stations for consumption. Right. Okay. Well, that's obviously good to know. Anyway, let me get a road up and running here just to make sure that we have some good efficiency in regards to our speed of movement. And we can even build a bridge if we want to, which is actually quite interesting. All right. 
So otherwise, uh, yeah, we can now, oh, we can actually build two lodges. Oh, surprisingly enough. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's absolutely fine then. Uh, I don't have enough wood to be able to do that though, unfortunately. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for that. Maybe I can just chop down a couple of trees real fast and then we should be able to do it. And, oh, we, we don't even have enough clay to be able to do that, actually. So, yeah, the clay is obviously relatively far away for us. So it's going to take a bit of time. But, yeah, now we have enough. And I should be able to build that right about there. There we go. And that is going to complete that tutorial. And our happiness is actually not bad. Look at that. Our happiness is actually pretty good, surprisingly. People are content to live in my city. Can you believe it? It's a, it's an absolute chaotic mess, but people are still pretty happy there. Not too bad, you know. I'm actually pretty uh, pretty happy about that. I was a bit worried about it, <laughs> all things considered. I thought to myself, oh no, as soon as I hit the record button, everyone's just going to be like, no, I will not do what you want me to do, sir. And uh, yeah, I was very much, um, very much worried about that. Anyway, there we go. We now have insufficient housing once again. We also have a tiled house. Okay, we're going to get a tiled house round about there, I guess. That's going to be pretty nice for us, I guess. Actually, what I should be doing is making sure that every single residential area is, uh, you know, clumped together. And every single economic production area is also uh, separated. That is what we should be doing technically, but I am an imbecile, so I haven't done that, of course. So I'm actually just going to build these round about here. I need, only need one, but I'm going to put two. And yeah, that is going to be done quite nicely. My food is actually looking pretty good still, um, very surprisingly, but it seems like the farmland and the various plots that we've done have been quite significant and pretty good for us. So kind of surprised about that. As you can see, we're actually having way too much fish, but that's fine because people can just eat it whenever, you know, they can hopefully salt it and then increase its uh, its longevity. Anyway, um, build a prison to capture criminals. Ah, select prison from the civil menu. All right, yeah, let's do that. Okay, where's the prison? There it is. Okay, we're just going to build the prison somewhere relatively far out, I guess. I don't even know. Uh, I don't even have enough to be able to build it right now, do I? No, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, so let's build it... Um, I don't even know. I, I, I have no idea, actually, where to build it. I, I guess here? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know whether it matters, you see. I mean, they, they kind of... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, we're going to have some issues right here. Okay, yeah, that actually reminds me. I need to build some wells nearby to these places because wells are actually going to make a huge difference to, to fires happening. Thankfully, they were able to put out the fire relatively fast, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, I think I'm actually almost done with the scenario. I just need another three citizens to move in to the city, and then I think we should be done. There's another new year. We're into year seven now, so yeah, that's looking, that's looking not too bad. It seems like happiness is actually increasing once again, as you can see, that we've got some thumbs ups. Look at that. we got some thumbs ups. That's amazing. It's always nice to get some thumbs ups. Oh, we do have some thumbs downs as well, of course, as you might expect. And we are now above the limit here, as you can see, for the population expansion. And we can also uh, build some other things here as well. I should probably build some more farmhouses or, uh, yeah, more, build some more farmhouses here. Let's just do that. Build three more of them. Why not? And the prison is still being built, as you can see. And there we go. All right. So now we can build a school from the civil menu. Let's do that. Where is the school? There it is. And we actually have the ability to build it right away. So let's do... I uh, kind of want to build it next to a lot of... Let's build it round about there, I guess. And we'll build another one. Can I build another one? No, I cannot. Uh, that's kind of sad. Oh, well, never mind. I guess they can just commute. <laughs> it's not, not particularly good, is it, for them to be so far away? But, you know, it's all right. It's all right. They're going to go there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait. We actually need to. We actually need to. So, okay, never mind. We apparently do need to build two. So that's absolutely fine. And the prison is now built, of course. Okay, so I need a little bit more clay. Just a little bit more. And then we will be able to build the next school i'm going to build it just somewhere around here which is quite it's pretty close by to a bunch 
of um, residential areas. So I guess that kind of makes sense. And we're just going to get a road out there as well, just to make sure that they can get there quite easily. I'm just going to build that round about there as well. There we go. Just get rid of all these trees for the moment as well. They're going to grow back, of course, because we do have a number of foresters that are able to replant them. And I do need the space to be able to build an additional road. And there we go. Wonderful. Absolutely perfect. And they're going to be done relatively soon. Oh, my happiness went down quite significantly, unfortunately, but uh, that isn't too bad, I guess. But yeah, you can see here that we actually are maxed out once again. Yeah, going to have to build a bunch of farmhouses, I suppose. Don't have enough. There we go. Now I do. But the more farmhouses I build, the more space we have, of course, and that other school is about to be done in just a second. Obviously, people do have to run with the resources all the way from this warehouse over here, which has all the clay, all the way over to the other side of town. So it is, of course, making quite a significant difference in the speed at which we can get that stuff up and running. And the same thing with this as well. As you can see, we're going to need to get the academy up and running, which is now, uh, you know, actually going to available, make available new technologies and devise new policies for our government. Anyway, that's basically all I wanted to show you with this game. And if you would like to check it out, there is a link in the description, huge amounts of things to do. And this is just the first story mission. There's a bunch of extra stuff to do in this game. And as I say, there is a link in the description if you want to check it out. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.